When should you choose a one-sided test over a two-sided test? And what's the difference? Let's say you're trying to prove that a new treatment is better than the standard treatment for a particular condition. Here you would choose a one-sided test because you're looking for a difference in just one direction. On the other hand, if you just want to see if two treatments are different from each other, in either direction you would choose a two-sided test. But how does this choice affect the p-value? Here are the details. Hypothesis tests compare a null hypothesis of no difference to an alternative hypothesis that states a difference exists. Before collecting data, the researcher can choose the direction of the alternative as any difference, a less than b, or a greater than b. For example, let's say you are comparing a new antibacterial drug to a placebo. Your null hypothesis of no difference can be tested against an alternative of new drug is different from placebo, new drug is better than placebo, or new drug is worse than placebo. The choice you make can have a meaningful impact on the p-value, and it all has to do with the type 1 error rate. The type 1 error rate is the probability of rejecting the null hypothesis when the null hypothesis is true. How you set the type 1 error rate determines how much evidence you need to reject the null hypothesis in favor of the alternative. Let's say you choose the typical type 1 error rate of 5%. This means you will reject the null hypothesis when the difference is so large it would only occur 5% of the time by random chance. With the two-sided test, we reject the null hypothesis when we see an extreme result in either tail of the distribution. So there is a 2.5% chance of rejecting by random chance in each tail. With the one-sided test, we reject the null hypothesis when we see an extreme result in only one of the tails. Since there is only one tail, we can put all 5% of the air in that one tail. Notice the cutoff for rejecting here is not as extreme as the two-sided test. So if the direction of the result in the data matches the direction of the one-sided alternative, it is easier to achieve statistical significance with a one-sided test. As a reminder, it's important to establish the alternative hypothesis before collecting the data, not after.